Welcome to Nick's Nectar. And we're unboxing bees, Russian bees, which are the second most aggressive bees in the world. Wait, three packages? How did we get here? Before we get started with the bees though, let's talk about vaporizers. As I promised in the last video, I was going to show you the difference between the two of the vaporizers that I have and the one that I like the most. This one hooks to a battery. It's simple to operate and it slides into the front of the hive. What I don't like about it is that it gets so hot when it's in the hive it chars the bottom of the frames. I'm sure it has the potential to kill bees too. While that's not a huge worry, it would be bad though if it was your queen that it fried. I've sped this up to about four times the normal speed. You'll see the crystals turn into somewhat of a liquid, start to boil, and then vaporize. And it automatically shuts off. And then from there, you're ready to go on to the next hive. And always wear your protective gear. And this is the vaporizer I like the most. You turn it on, it already goes up to a preset temperature, and then it's ready to go. You place the acid in the cap, put the cap on when it's upside down. When you turn it over, it shoots the vapor out. You see it comes out pretty strong on the end, and that way it blows it into the hive. You don't have that hot instrument that's in the hive and instead it's just the vapor that goes in. The drawback to this one is that you need to clean it after use. You see on the end of it there's crystals that form as the vapor cools. All you do is put a little water in the cap Set it up like you're going to put the acid in, flip it over, and then the steam blows it out. Right now is the best time to treat for mites. There's no mites in the brood since there is no brood. And now we'll treat for the mites and then when we put them in the hive there will be zero mites in the hive. Okay, that's two of the packages treated. Now let's treat the third and we'll get them out to the bee yard. Okay, real quick, we'll get all the hives put together. We'll get the bottom boards on there, the brood boxes, get some frames put in, get the tops ready to go on, and also prepare to feed them, and then we'll be ready to install the packages. All right, get this cover off, and then inside we'll have a container that's filled with syrup that's been used to feed the bees. Off that black strap is the queen cage. This queen is pretty dark. I guess that's what color the Russian bees are. She's a little hard to see in this light, but I've got a better picture of a different queen later on. And here on the end, there's a cork 
you pull that cork out and then it exposes a candy plug that the bees should chew through over the next few days and release the queen. If over about three days or so the queen isn't out of the cage, I'll set her free by hand. You see the bees just flying everywhere and they're loud, loud, angry from being disturbed. But they'll calm down fairly quickly and you'll see here in a, in a few moments. And here I'm going to set up some more sugar syrup inside the hive. I've got other feeders on the other highs, and on this one I'm going to feed them internally as well. And here they've already learned their way inside the hive. You see the other bees out front here that are fanning, and they're getting the pheromones spread around to attract the other bees. I've got other top hive feeders, but I like these the most. And then finally, I got stung through my suit by these Russian bees. We verify our range to target. One ping only. I, I, I just... Give me a ping, Vasily. One ping only, please. Aye, Captain. As you can see, they've calmed down quite a bit and they've making their way inside the hive. Let's go ahead and get this third package in and you'll see a great shot of the queen from this hive in just a moment.
we'll see you next time on Nick's Nectar.